at a recent Christmas party, my friend Alex said that the hostess received a Trump calendar as a gag gift. Nobody at the party wanted the calendar. Everyone at the party was a Democrat. And the one lone Republican refused to take it. She said she was only Republican because therefore eliminating a state tax so that the top tier can retain wealth. The last thing we need is a Republican voice like that at any party. We thought the Democrats were the problem, but with a Republican voice like that, maybe President Trump needs to be at a new party. Welcome. Welcome to Conservative Coffee Hour. I'm Stanley Smith. At Conservative Coffee Hour, we, uh, we have bigger concerns than a state tax. Because last I checked, a state tax doesn't kick in until you've reached the $12 million threshold. I guess that's why this is conservative coffee hour and not Republican coffee hour. We can see how uh, Democrats could see that anything better, anything's better than, than that outlook. Looking out for your own best interests at the expense of everyone else is it's morally reprehensible and it's also very short-sighted. We all have something to offer, something to share or sell or monetize. Maybe it's for our own benefit, and maybe it's for the benefit of others. Sometimes, hopefully, it's a little bit of both. Most universities and colleges have a flame or a light or a lamp as part of their logo. Harvard University has the word truth in their emblem. Harvard is comfortable selling themselves as the truth because many people have bought into that. Traditionally, the lamp or the light or the truth is a veiled reference for God. But somehow that got, uh, got uh, conflated with the, uh, with the corporate goal of maximizing profit, which is ironically one of the core principles advanced by Harvard Business School for the last few decades. And we've all seen how that worked out. Enter Carol Swain. Carol Swain is a professor and author. Her book, Black Faces, Black Interests, the representation of African Americans in Congress and other works are on the topic of Black issues are written by a Black woman, but she comes to a different conclusion than some of the people on the left. It's a different way of seeing the same material. Carol said that um, said about her recent plagiarism of her work that in some ways it could be seen as flattering, but it's also ironic because those accused of plagiarizing her work view the material very differently. Kamala Harris says we should just, we should just be. That, that sounds really good. She shared this notion recently at a number of public speaking engagements, just, just be. But it's not her place or the government's place to give us that, that permission. That's their way of seeing the material, the constitution, their oath of office, and the premise of being elected to office. But it's God who gives us that permission to just be, not Kamala Harris or the government. This is the slippery slope of plagiarism. The left is plagiarizing God. It's only a matter of time before the media tells us the word plagiarism itself is, is racist. But it's too late. The cat is out of the bag. This Carol Swain is not a nobody. She's a real person. She's not a plagiarist. She's the real thinking person, whether you agree with her or not. She co-chaired President Trump's 1776 project and believes that God and adhering to the Constitution are central to renewal in this country. Her assessment of Black issues does not deny history, but she sees the remedy in adhering to faith-based values which traditionally have been viewed as white values. It's problematic. But the other option is to enslave Black people as indentured by the federal government. At the Christmas party, no one wanted the Trump calendar. But we're entering a new year, and whether people know it or not, they, they will be needing that calendar. It's a new way of seeing things. Yes, we have many days ahead, and we believe, yes, that the best days are yet to come. If you would like to join us at Conservative Coffee Hour, Conservative Coffee Hour is every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time on Zoom. 
I will include my email in the description of this video. I'll be happy to send you an invitation. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.